My name is Emily Bergstrom, and I am joined by John Meyerd and Robert Davies for the 2023 Civil Engineering Senior Design Team at Michigan Tech for the well number six installation and hydraulic network for Kiona Bay Indian Community. Our faculty advisor is Dr. Nathan Manzer, and our sponsor is the KBIC Fish Hatchery, whose goal is to rear fish for stocking Lake Superior and nearby rivers. Our project was to design a new water well for the Kuna Bay Indian Community Fish Hatchery as they look to increase their walleye production. Currently, they rear, amongst other fish species, 50,000 walleye until fry each year before releasing into Lake Superior every spring. And their hope is to double their walleye production in the coming years. In 2019, a different senior design team designed a proposed one acre pond, which would serve as a space to rear more walleye. Our project is a well and supporting hydraulic network that would supply water to the proposed pond at the beginning of the season and maintain water levels throughout. The proposed pond is one acre in aerial extent and it is located approximately 1200 feet from the water treatment building and the KBIC is looking to fill that pond once a year for the walleye rearing season. Our solution is to install a new eight inch diameter well with an estimated production of 350 gallons per minute. To connect the well to existing infrastructure, new pipe runs were also designed from the well to the water treatment building, and a distribution network from the building to the proposed pond was designed as well. Overall, we expect the project to cost approximately $82,000 and take around two months to complete. The design considerations for the well took into account lithological records from wells drilled nearby to estimate the hydraulic properties of the subsurface. From this, the properties of the well were understood and various materials were considered for meeting that design. The impact from well production was simulated using the Michigan Department of Environment, Great Lakes and Energy water withdrawal calculator to determine the effect of pumping at the surface. The pipe runs also took into consideration many factors as well, such as materials used, had loss in the system and depth to the frost line. The goal in designing the pipe runs was to fully connect the well to existing infrastructure without requiring additional pumps. Moving forward, if a well is constructed, we would recommend a future group perform a step drawdown test in the well to determine the actual impact of the well. A second recommendation would be to establish a regular maintenance schedule for the well and pump as they are only going to be used for a brief period each year. Thank you for listening.